What is up everybody, Nick Legostava here, about to be showing you my custom Transformers Earthrise Buzzsaw for Earthrise or Siege Soundwave. Now, I want to preface this by saying the only reason I have two laser beaks was because I had bought two of these, so that's how I got this to make the custom buzzsaw in the first place. But it was actually easier than I thought to kind of custom paint this. And I just wanted to do a video showing it off and giving you guys ideas or girls ideas for your own custom Transformers buzzsaw. And I will show you how it looks in the chest and show you one easy customization thing you can also do on your Earthrise Netflix Soundwave from the Walmart exclusive pack. So right off the bat, here he is. In all his glory. I have him transformed slightly different than uh, Laserbeak. Just to differentiate them even more. And you could just see the different subtle differences on the face there. I added some gold up top. As well as on both of them. I sharpied the silver part from the pin to be black. Just so it kind of makes the head look a little more cohesive. That's another little easy thing you could do on both of these. So there's that in comparison to them. And you can see there's still some little areas of red that I couldn't really get to with the method that I used. You can use a different method to make buzz saw. But I, I took the simple way, and I will tell you exactly how I did so. Right here, you just really need the two of these things, but I use four of these things to add just a little more detail. But one of these yellow paint sharpies, a regular yellow sharpie won't work. You're going to need one of these oil-based paint sharpies. And you're going to need, you don't necessarily need this. You can do it all yellow. I had originally did all gold and I was like, eh, I didn't really love how that looked. I had seen one other person that did a custom like that on the Siege version of uh, Laserbeak to make a buzzsaw. And I'd kind of wanted to do that, but you can still see there's some gold. So I have gold and yellow mixed on mine. You don't have to do that on yours if you decide to do this. But that's kind of how it looks. It gives it a little bit more of a flare having both gold and yellow mixed. But I think the yellow looks really good. And it perfectly, like literally perfectly matches this yellow on Soundwave. And since this matches so perfectly... And this is just clear plastic. It's usually, it's supposed to be clear plastic on the side here. But I did a little bit, nice straight line across there with this. I did that all the way around to the other side as well. And up top too. So it just differentiates it a little bit more from the clear plastic. Adds a little more color breakup and color definition even from a side view and all that. So that's just a nice little touch. I do eventually, I'm not sure if I want to paint these clear plastic parts right here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I was thinking about do, finding color matching that with the blue there. I'm not sure though. I might just leave it how it is or do it silver. I'm also going to have another size comparison for Netflix Earthrise Soundwave in this review. I'm also going to show you what that looks like in the chest. I meant to do that right now, but I'll actually do that one more size comparison since I got them in the mail yesterday. That is Cybertron Soundwave. Also a Voyager, but that's a Voyager from over a decade ago. You can see the size difference. I do have a mistransform the legs so he stands up easier. I didn't want him falling over for this or on the shelf. But yeah, he. I'm not going to do a review of him right now, but just wanted to show another size comparison for Soundwave. Thought I'd throw that in with this, but it's really easy to do this little custom. Also, if you had, if you still had your Siege 1 laying around, you can make Buzzsaw out of your Siege 1 and then have your Earthrise 1 as Laserbeak. Then their heads are different. That differentiates them even more. I was thinking about doing the silver beak on laser beak because I did do slight customizations to the back of him with the silver sharpie, just painting the little jets on the back with the, the sharpie. So it's a very easy customization. Uh, you might have some chippage, but I mean, all around it stays pretty well. I am going to transform it here, and I guess I'll show you some of the other parts that I painted on the inside there just to make it more yellow. I wish this would stay focused. I'm so sorry for that, folks. But it's it's just really easy. 
to transform him, so I'll throw that in there. It looks amazing in the chest. Out of all the... I'm just going to call them rectangle bots, because they don't necessarily look like tapes. So, there he is in the chest. It looks great. Once I can get him in there. The paint on the sides of the wings, you don't have to do that. I did that initially, but he will fit in there easier if you don't paint the, the sides of the wings like I did with the, the gold one. But that's how he looks in the chest. That looks amazing. Let's put laser beak on his arm so he's got both the birds on him as I push the pin away. Whatever. He won't have laser beak on his arm since I accidentally pushed the pin in. Just wanted this to be a nice little quick video here. Just showing an easy customization you could do to make Buzz Saw because he still is a sought after cassette bot that we do not have with Earthrise Siege Soundwave. We really don't. None of them. Not even in the Generation Selects uh, tape pack. That came with two things for Double Dealer and two things for Soundwave. I still want to order that because I do want Ratbat. Definitely wants um, Rumble. Yes, the blue one is Rumble. Just confirming that right now. He even said it in the cartoon, so I don't care that they confused it. That's how it is. But there he is with Buzzsaw. I think I'm going to keep that one in the chest. It looks so amazing in there because these yellows match nicely. So it definitely fills the chest great. And um, there you go. That's how things are looking. And you'll notice even on the Cybertron one, I put the, the one from this on there. So he'll have his little shoulder thing. But there you go. Hopefully I had a great time. Uh, during the holidays and all that at the time of recording this that's what was going down But have a great day if you're new watch other videos decide if you want to subscribe if you want to see my review of Soundwave I will put that at the end here or in the cards of the video um, Check that out also people that want more Lego reviews and Lego stop motions. Don't worry. You will be covered here shortly. Peace